top pound for pound fighter, also unified band white champion, Noya Nui will fight Donito Donaire November 7th. This will be the final for the World Boxing Super Series in that weight class. This fight will be very explosive as long as it lasts. Both guys are big punchers, but Anui is definitely the favorite in this fight, but Denaire still can punch. Rumor is, if Anui is victorious against Denaire, he will be signing with top ranked boxing and Bob Arum. I like Anui by knockout by round six. In other boxing news, let's talk about unified heavyweight champion Andy Ruiz for a minute. One of the big stories about this rematch is what is Ruiz making? He's making $9 million for the rematch. Going into the first fight, Andy Ruiz was a 25 to 1 underdog. So if he shows those odds to match room boxing, the first fight he got $7 million. And now he's getting $9 million. And I agree, he deserves more money. But it's on a contract. So you sign that contract. And that's what you're making. Nobody thought Ruiz was going to be Anthony Joshua, but Ruiz. So if his management team would have negotiated, I want $20 million in the rematch. If I beat Anthony Joshua, they probably would have got it. Of this $9 million, is it Matchroom Boxing's fault? No. Is it Anthony Joshua's fault? No. It's the PBC management team that got you screwed making $9 million on a rematch which is not chump change, but I'm just saying, you could've got five to $10 million more if your team would've went to bat for you. And besides that, you signed the contract without reading it. Now let's talk about Saudi Arabia. I have no issue with the fight being in Saudi Arabia. I just didn't want the fight being in the UK or Mexico. I wanted to back in Madison Square Garden. I thought it'd defeat the whole purpose of Anthony Joshua fighting the rematch in the UK because they brought him to the States to build this brand. So it didn't make any sense for me to have the rematch in the UK when you're trying to go global. And then they mentioned Saudi Arabia. Then I say, well, that's kind of cool because now it's a neutral site. No one has an advantage. But now it seems like Andy Ruiz is procrastinating. He knew he's making $9 million after he defeated Anthony Joshua. So what's the problem now? It seems to me that Al Heyman has gotten his ear. Now the word is Andy Ruiz didn't sign anything. He says he's not fighting in Saudi Arabia. But the articles I've been reading on boxing scene and world boxing news is that Andy Ruiz has no choice. Either he's going to go through with the fight or he's going to be stripped of his titles and he's going to be sued by matchroom boxing. You think you're going to knock out Joshua again and half the people think you're going to knock out Joshua again and they think it's going to be easier. So what's the holdup? Is Ruiz getting cold feet or is PBC and Andy Ruiz playing mind games? Leave your comments below. JBZ, subscribe to the channel. I'm out.